Hello friends, here's a quick mnemonic from ENT related to the Rinne's and Weber's test. So do you tend to get confused where is Rinne's positive and Rinne's negative? So remember the mnemonic is first is CON, C-O-R-N. So remember CO in conductive hearing loss, RN is Rinne's negative. Then the other mnemonic to remember is SNRP. Remember S-N-R-P. That means in sensory neural hearing loss and normal it is Rinne's positive. Just remember here that there can be false negative Rinne's in severe unilateral sensory neural hearing loss. So whenever in the question you get Rinne's negative, you should think of CON that is conductive hearing loss. But you should also keep in mind the sensory neural hearing loss. It could be unilateral severe sensory neural hearing loss. So how do we differentiate then is based on Weber's test. So remember in Weber's, C is for S and S is for C. That means in C, conductive hearing loss, the Weber's is lateralized to the same side, that is the affected side. While S is for C, in sensory neural hearing loss, it goes to the contralateral side. So if there is left SNHL, the Weber's would be lateralized to the right ear. So the Weber's lateralization will help you to understand whether that Rinne's negative is actually the conductive one or is it the false negative, severe unilateral SNHL. So always keep this in mind when you are solving questions on Rinne's and Weber's. I hope you like this trick. If yes, do like this video and save it for revising later and stay connected for more such tips and tricks with Dr. Nikita. Thank you.